How do you get a blood sample from a shark? Blood is actually the sample that is used most in all of the research projects we do. We know that sharks have an artery and a vein that run in a little canal that's along the bottom of their spinal column, and it's most accessible in the tail. That little canal is called the hemal arch, and that's what we're trying to hit when we're putting the needle into the tail. I think most people expect me to say that we're using a needle that's like this long, but they're anywhere between an inch and a half to two inches. We often put an extension set on this so the animal can move, but the needle stays the same. This setup here is actually for the very next shark that we're going to catch. You can see all the different projects, and if we have a little bit extra, we do archive it and save it. We collect exactly what we think we need. We don't collect more than that, and certainly in small animals, we do calculate how much is safe to collect from them. We take for granted that we know what normal is for ourselves, and really these blood samples we're using to try and figure out what normal is for a shark.